just very good. Speaking of another Indian player that was very good, Panther. Yeah. Is playing really well today. Yeah, he has. You know, beating Raven King is a feat all of its own, honestly. And now he's trying to do it again in the Losers Finals. All right. Can we talk about uh, Inkling Jeff? And how it just covers you? No, we can't. I'll have an aneurysm. <laughs> I, we can't talk about that move. That move is so ridiculous. It covers you in ink, which not only powers up, uh, subsequently powers up Inkling while it's happening, uh, but it also does like 20 damage. Yeah. It's, it's, it's ridiculously good. Why, dude? Uh, it's hard to get away from. Oh, that's it. I wonder if, like, that was, like, almost <laughs> mind-bogglingly confusing. Like, because he sent him up in the air so high, and the camera was so focused in the air, and the platforms were moving. I wonder if Fanfu forgot where he was. Oh, ah! <laughs> no! no! That sucks, man. He actually sees an object. Or a physical plane in this game. That's just my mind as an enemy. Oh, don't get the roller again. Yeah, nice. Immediately catching him after that jump, snaring him. People still cheering for Ryan, man. Even when Ryan isn't the underdog, it feels like he's the underdog. Just because people always cheer for the underdog. People love Ryan. Yeah, they do, man. You gonna erupt? Oh no! You're just gonna destroy this man's career. All right, Raven King, I see you. That down here has been. Amazing for him today, man. Um, honestly, I don't know if it's just Dare being a huge hitbox or he's really on point today. Well, I mean, it's hard to catch Banfu in that sort of recovery because Inkling's so good at recovering. You have to be... Oh, okay, he had a jump. I was really afraid for a moment. Yeah. He just got, like, hydro pumped off the stage. I'm trying to wonder, what can Inkling do with his... Uh, a night... Uh, uh, Turn into Calamari there. I mean, that was, that was, yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know if the only thing Inkling can do is wait it out, which he can do, because roller off stage and you use a jump and then like right, yeah. you, know, you can go super low. Well, but I know forward smashing from uh, of the yeah, but I know forward smashing is an option against from. I don't know if that works against Ike because he has more of an active sword. He's just called Ether. Crom's up B's called Ether. Thing? I think. Okay. I think. I think it is. Oh, the other thought I had was maybe Fanfu could just start, start throwing bomb at uh, I guess Ether and just call him out there. Here you just put it at the ledge and create some pressure, right? Oh, you mean when he's trying to edge guard? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought you meant getting back on stage. No, I have absolutely no freaking clue what this does. This guy does get ready to off stage. I don't know if he, uh... I don't know if he really can do anything, to be honest with you. Well, I'm sure Fanfu will show us or if he can adapt to Alright, um, interesting flank and then hitbox for, uh, Raging King. So why Unova? Why Unova for Fanfu? Uh, they played on PS1 to start. I imagine he just wants to No, hit. uh, Town and City? Town and City, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I think he just wants to get more mileage out of, uh, Raging King close and edge guarding him. Mm -hmm. That would be my guess. That's usually why I go to some of those games, I want to edge guard him. Or I want to shrink down PS1. Man, Fanfu got off to a very fast start this game, and with one simple back air conversion, already Raven King's taking stock of I mean, Raven King's goal here is to just get a couple hits, put them together, create a mix up with snare and uh, threaten with uh, back, back air, forward air on occasion, even up air too. It's difficult to deal with once you get hit. Yeah. But you see, like, when I, when I imagine myself playing Ike, I always imagine my nares being super predictable and someone being able to call out when they are and like pairing it or whatever. But I feel like a lot of the time when Raven King is going for these moves in like mid neutral, a lot of people aren't answering to them right away. They're either like like dashing too far away or missing, which gives Raven King the opportunity to like down tilt or something. Right. What is down tilt? It's down tilt's pretty fast. Down tilt's like what? Frame nine. Frame nine? Down Fortunately, not down. Basically. See, because the reason down tilt feels so fast is mostly because, like, by the time that they realize Raven King neared and he missed, and they try to go back and do something, they run into, they run into down. Oh yeah, no, he's stuck in the mouth. Wow, yeah. I don't wow. know. Fanfu's like, why did I roll backwards? <laughs> Fanfu, even Fanfu doesn't do. It. Fanfu was like, someone else is controlling the controller. Right now. Is that a wave land by uh, Raven King? Go for the combo. Nice. I like this. <gasps> oh my goodness. Ryan? Hello? <laughs>
You know, I've seen him. I haven't seen him do that a whole lot. He used to do that. There was there was like a month ago where he was ethering out of shield, or no, ethering like out of combos a lot. It's if it's not bad. It, I think he likes you. Everything to me likes doing it. You know, edge to low risk. And just grab the ledge again. This is he's kind of a sucky matchup. For you, but I either that. But the thing, Raven, Fanfu is not taking advantage of the fact that Raven King really has one option in this match. Snare. And move in there. As long, honestly, all Fanfu should be doing is like approaching slowly and trying to parry. Yeah. That should, that should really be it. I mean, it, Deacon has to put in a lot more work than Raven King ever has to do. Raven King just combos you in air, back air, forward air. Put you in an edge guard situation, traps you at the ledge. Inkling, I don't. Inkling can do most of that too, but I think the, the way he gets combos, the way he wins neutral, it's a little bit more worth it. Right, here we go again. More tomahawks, more up airs. A lot of the same. A lot of the, a lot of just empty hops too, baiting Fanfu to come in and then immediately jumping into like air or something. I like the option to go for up air after the berry. Something he was mashing out, so. Mm -hmm. That was nice. Oh, quick. oh, he had a jump? I actually surprised. Did he air dodge initially? He must have. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Because that's one of the things Raven King was talking about when I was playing Flying's with him. If you are in the air with Ike and you if you use your jump, you are dead. Yeah. You are 100% dead. Yep. It's so, very important that Ike conserves his jumps. Especially this matchup where yeah. he went back air. He went back air. Exactly. So Raven King knows, like, hey, man, I'd rather air dodge to stage know that I'll have enough distance to ether or have you hit me again and then I'll jump just to, just to put you off balance and it worked so we're back in town city I'm actually surprised why Ben who decided to go back here did you feel like I had better craft the matchup I don't know let's talk to him I feel like a, a lot of um but okay so a lot of how he died on Unova was very just sort of like eating those conversions into like back air and stuff right yeah just not being able to play off of uh, Raven King's punishes a whole lot. Just having those platforms in different uh, places and not ha not giving Raven King the ability to always utilize those platforms to continue his combo while Counting City is still also like a big playing field for him. I can see why that'd be useful because honestly, like Raven King, unless he gets Fanfu in the middle of the stage right now, probably isn't going to have a whole ton of like linking combo. Options, you know what I mean? Those platforms are too high up. But you can still hit back air, man. Back air's in the tail! Oh my goodness. Cover too high there. can't believe it. I can't believe it either. Oh. Is that true? Was it that Booyah? That was a yeah. little... See, yeah, I think it was. Because, um... Like 160. Oh, damn. Ike's sword weighs like 50 pounds. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's like... I hate heavyweight? I think he's a heavyweight. I don't think he's super heavy. Yeah, I don't think so. No. But heavier? Heavier. He's, yeah, 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 I would imagine. Yo, oh, also, yo, Fanfu, where are your jabs, man? Just literally li have Raven King come in, walk up, parry, and jab. Yeah. That, get this man inked up, and then send him flying. I, I honestly don't know if I would, like, even roller at all this match. Oh. Roller's so risky against, against Ike, you know? Because either, if you miss it, that's an immediate combo start for Raven King. Yep. Immediately. And Raven King's not going to be touching the ground a whole lot anyway. Right. So, I wouldn't even... Like, literally, run up, try to parry it. Just try...